Uh, how involved are you editorially um, when you get a submission? I think I'm very involved. Um, you know, I like, I, I was about to say conspiring, but not conspiring, but working together with an author on, you know, developing a project, making sure it's the best it can be. Um, and I, I want an open communication. So sometimes an author will say, no, I want it this way. I'm like, all right, it's your baby. I can't, you know, kidnap your baby and turn it into a monster that it's not. Um, but I, I think it's a give and take. And sometimes, you know, authors come up with much better ideas than I had. Sometimes I help come up with much better ideas. It's a give and take. And you have to be able to communicate and negotiate. It's like any relationship. Gotcha. So if the author comes to you and says, you know, I've got, um, I've got my line in the the sand, or my, you know, th th these particular things about this story cannot change, but I'm flexible on these things. Is that a reasonable starting position? Or no, it's all got to be flexible if we're going to be successful with this. I think most things have. To to be flexible, but saying that everyone has their lines in the sand. I have lines in the sand. And that has sexual assault or racial slurs. It's just not my bag, not something I want to be associated with. Um, and that's just me. Um, so I had to say, I'm not sending this out with these slurs in there. And people say, oh, you're censoring me. I'm like, no, I'm not censoring you. It's just I personally am not going to do that. I think you can show racism and hate in a book without having to write those words. Seems reasonable. And you can go out and start your, your own website and do all the slurs you want on it. You just won't be represented by Lane Haymont whilst you do it. Exactly. Exactly. You know? And I'm sure some people have things that I'm okay sending out that they don't want to. Okay. So like, uh, you're okay sending out, oh, okay. So like just things about, about certain topics that you would be yeah. comfortable with, okay. Yep. Like a lot of people are perfectly fine sending out books with animals getting killed. Not me. I don't want to see any more dead dogs in horror. In fact, I want to see like a eerie Indiana episode where the animals take over. All the humans die and the animals are like, nope, we're the heroes. Only humans die in this horror novel. That doesn't exist. I'm sure somebody is writing it as we speak and they'll be uh, putting it in your query manager directly. I hope so. <laughs> uh,